Hey guys, in this video I'm going to share what I've learned about preparing for space travel in the game Astroneer. This game encourages you to planet hop in order to explore and collect needed resources. For example, your starting planet has no hematite, which is a resource that makes iron. So at some point it becomes necessary to do some interplanetary travel if you want to build certain items and advance your base. In order to travel, you're going to need to build a shuttle. All you need to do is gather the appropriate resources and bust out your small and large 3D printers to build a small shuttle, an oxygenator, and a solid fuel thruster. On a side note, you could choose to just take your existing oxygenator with you, but I'd recommend building a second one to take with you and set up at the new base if you're able. This shuttle setup with the solid fuel thruster will take you round trip, meaning it allows for four uses or maneuvers. Lifting off counts as one maneuver, and traveling to a planet is another maneuver. Landing does not count as a maneuver, so if you're careful with your travel selections, this thruster could get you to another planet and back. It's easy to accidentally lose track of how many maneuvers you've used up, however, so I recommend bringing along a spare package thruster just in case you need it. Now, it's important not to just blast off because you're so excited to explore a new planet. You have to prepare for the expedition first, or you'll find yourself stranded on a planet without the proper tools or resources for exploration. And I'm speaking from experience. My first mission was a total fail. So these are the things I like to bring. A work light, a canister, one or more oxygen tanks, a tether pack, a power supply, such as a small generator, solar panel, or wind turbine, and I usually like to bring two different types of power generators with me. A small printer, a beacon, a packaged spare thruster. Again, this is not necessary, but I recommend it. And some extras you might consider are extra crafting resources, so you can build basic things right away like tethers. Remember that you can place items on the top two slots on the backpack, as well as on the terrain tool. I like to fill them all up with useful items before I leave. Once you're geared up, it's time to launch. After taking off, you'll find yourself in kind of a menu of sorts that lets you choose which planet you want to travel to. If you hover over the planets with your cursor, you can see some useful info about that planet, such as its name, its level of difficulty, and its primary and secondary resources. So let's say I want to go here. You just select the planet with your cursor, and your shuttle will move to that planet's location. If you change your mind here and want to go somewhere else, you can always hit the launch button to zoom back out and make a new planet selection. But just remember that doing this will use up one of your four maneuvers on the thruster. Once in front of the planet, you'll see a variety of domes which indicate landing sites. Select one of these sites and you'll begin your descent. Once landed, you can start unpacking and setting up your new base with the gear you brought. So with your oxygenator mounted on your ship, right off the bat you can use your tethers to explore the surrounding area without running out of oxygen or power to your backpack. If you brought extra oxygen tanks, these could come in handy if you run out of tethers while exploring, as they extend the amount of time you can be off tether before running out of oxygen. So I also mentioned bringing a canister. As you're exploring, this often comes in handy for building ramps either up out of holes or down into them. And your work light is great for seeing better at night and while exploring inside caves. Setting up your small printer and hooking it up to your power supply allows you to print various items you have unlocked, including a medium printer to make larger items and build up your new base. So I mentioned earlier that you should bring a beacon. When you eventually decide that it's time to move on and leave your base behind, you should place a beacon down nearby so it's easy to find should you ever wish to return. Without the beacon, it can be very difficult to remember which of the multiple landing sites your base was at. If you have any advice you'd like to share for fellow astroneers, leave a comment below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for listening and happy space travels!